guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I want to show you guys how to enable wireless tether uh, for the Droid X running Gingerbread version 4.5.602. Uh, if you're running stock, you've probably noticed when you've tried uh, to run the 3G hotspot that you're getting messages from Verizon um, that it's blocked. Uh, please purchase the subscription for $30 a month. Um, previously on the Froyo kernel, uh, we were able to wirelessly tether for free using the wireless tether application, uh, but that's all been blocked in Gingerbread, so there's a way around that uh, just by simply flashing um, simply flashing the zip that you can get from the link in the description. So head on over to the link in the description, download that file. I'll show you how to flash it, uh, but before we get started, I just want to um, make you aware of the fact that this is against Verizon Wireless terms of service. Um, if you are caught with this, they will cancel uh, your account and also you may be charged for your tethering uh, that you've done. You may have to pay those tethering fees. So proceed with caution. Um, if you don't feel good about it, just don't do it at all. Um, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. The only thing that's required here is that your phone is rooted. If you don't know how to root your phone, uh, check out my video tutorial on the one-click route for all Motorola devices. Uh, then you'll need to install Droid 2 Bootstrapper from the market. It's two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Once you have both of those things done, open up Bootstrap, click re, uh, boot. Sorry, click Bootstrap Recovery, then click OK and reboot recovery. And we'll finish this install tutorial as soon as it reboots. Okay. Uh, so once you're booted into recovery, you're going to scroll down to install zip from SD card. The way that we go through this menu is up and down uh, to scroll and camera button to select and the back button to go back. And so you're just going to go down to you're just going to go down to install zip from SD card, select that and choose zip from SD card, select that. Find the download folder. If you downloaded it directly to your phone, that's where it'll be. Okay, so find your download folder, select that, and then you're looking for the the WUG Pack to GB Tether Patch. So when you find that, you'll just select that and then scroll down to Yes, Install, and select that. Okay, and as soon as that finishes, you will go back and select Reboot System Now. And I'll just show you guys how it works um, as soon as it reboots. Okay guys, so once your phone reboots, uh, just open up the app drawer, and at the bottom of the list you should see an app, Wi-Fi Tether. Go ahead and open that. Go to uh, Menu Button, Settings, Change Device Profile, and change it to the Motorola Droid X Profile. Select that and back out, and just tap to start tethering. Okay, and as soon as that gets going, go to the computer side, see I'll disconnect from my home network and then we'll connect to the Android network. Okay, so now we're going to connect to a network and let's see, there it is, it's already found it and connected because uh, I tested it out real quick, so just connect there and should be able to open up the browser and surf the internet now and there we have it. Um, so it's just that easy guys. Check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid X phone. We also cover the Droid Bionic now. Check out droidmoderx.com slash bionic. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E not a 3. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks guys. Intoxicated world.